Welcome to another edition of Airborne with Alan. Awake at too early o'clock in the morning, I'm heading off to Denpasar, Bali for a holiday and I'm flying with Air Asia X. So join me as we take a look at how they do this route and how good the flight is. The booking with a promo fare was done online. The return discounted KLIA Express train ticket was also purchased online via AirAsia.com's Manage Your Booking. But there were initially a few issues but those were eventually resolved. Check-in also at first go online had many problems. After the issues were resolved, boarding pass and baggage tags were issued on second truck. Just completed check-in and that horrible queue over there but I must say it moved pretty fast, all the counters were open and my actual transaction just took less than a minute. Counter staff were friendly, nothing special but nothing bad. So it's time now to go through immigration and get on to the gate, it's L22. I give check-in 4 stars. Boarding began with an invitation for premium seat passengers and also premium flex passengers. This was followed by a free for all for the rest of us to head to the A330 which had a special Phoenix livery. Two FAs were on hand to welcome us on board. The cabin was in the tight nine seats abreast layout. I paid extra for the quiet zone which was actually empty except for myself and three others. The cabin was neat and clean. Leg room actually wasn't too bad, but large people may find the seat to be tight and narrow. No in-flight entertainment, no powerpoints or footrests, but there was an adjustable headrest and a decent recline. I give the clean and neat cabin 4 stars. The flight pushed back two minutes ahead of time and the crew did the safety demonstration live. Takeoff was from runway 33 followed by a sharp left bank across the Straits of Malacca before heading south and climbing to a cruising height of 41,000 feet. The crew were good with a few outstanding and friendly ones but also there were one or two that were a bit reserved and seemed unenthusiastic. Overall, I give the crew 5 stars.
so among the special crew, they're all very special, but this guy, extra special. <laughs> He's the Britney Spears of Air Asia. Hello. So I'm going to put the link at the bottom uh, in the description to his YouTube video, the viral YouTube <laughs> video. I don't understand why they use these coffee bags. The onboard water isn't hot enough to get a proper brew. And what do you do with the used bag? For the meal, I give four stars. Seat pocket had the usual air sick bag, which I use to dispose the coffee bag, safety leaflet, entertainment leaflet. Not a very good selection of movies, actually. You had your menu, Santan. And on the flip side, the duty-free booklet. There was something I wanted, but it was out of stock. And of course, the 360 magazine. During descent, we passed the rumbling Mount Agung volcano in the distance before landing at runway 27 ahead of schedule. While I cleared immigration, in less than 5 minutes, baggage took 50 minutes to turn up. While the main board indicated Belt 3, the sign at Belt 3 itself indicated other flights, which led to some confusion among the passengers. This, I believe, is an issue with the airport and not with the airline. And for the whole experience from booking to arrival, I would rate this Air Asia X flight from Kuala Lumpur to Denpasar 4 stars. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Airborne with Alan.